Are you worried about the um, midterm election next year in America? I am. Why? Because so much is riding on it. There's this open question of whether the American people can look around and see the radicalism of the Biden agenda, the craziness of woke politics, and deliver the kind of sharp slap in the face politically, the, the message that they need to send in the midterms. Um, now, there's some very encouraging news that's been coming out of Britain. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but essentially the Labour Party is getting destroyed in Britain. In uh, December of 2019, the Labour Party took its biggest beating, uh, really since 1935, a kind of wipeout across the country. Uh, but very recently, there were some regional races, very important races in Britain. And these were by and large occurring in working class suburbs outside of London, outside of a lot of um, Britain's industrial towns and cities. And um, uh, the Tories swept those elections in decisive numbers, notably in, um, in some traditional labor strongholds. So... Labour, for example, has held the seat in Hartlepool since 1964. This is like your classic Pittsburgh-style working-class town. Uh, Labour would typically win 70 or 80 percent of Hartlepool, but in the recent election, the Labour candidate got 28.7 percent. And what this really means is that the the working class, and by the way, the the um, British don't hesitate to use terms like working class or even lower class. Um, the working class is essentially departing the Labour Party en masse. Labour is ceasing to be the party of Labour. Uh, is it, who is it the party of then? Well, it's the party of sort of uh, PhDs and it's the party of the globalists in London and the financial sector. So something very similar is happening in Britain as in America. Now, uh, under Tony Blair in the 1990s. Uh, Blair was a guy who had worked his way up, gone to uh, Oxford or Cambridge. So he was essentially a working class kid who had made good. So he was able, as actually Clinton was, to hold on to working class voters and at the same time pull in university graduates and people from the professional classes. That was the key to Tony Blair's successful coalition, which lasted for a while. But then Labour was taken over by a leftist, as we've seen happening with the Democratic Party here. And this was German Corbyn. And Corbyn basically decided to cast Labour's lot uh, with the globalists, uh, with the leftists, uh, with the race baiters, with all the people who said things like, don't call me a woman, I'm really a man. Do you? I have got seven pronouns that I'm happy to supply to you on a piece of paper. Use only those. And the British working class got freaked out and said, who are these kooks? What planet do they live on? The, the, the genius of um, the British prime minister, Boris Johnson, has been that Johnson has made a powerful appeal to the working class on economic and cultural grounds both. So let's talk about the cultural appeal. It's patriotism. Uh, it's the idea that, that the left is against uh, British identity. They think Britain is a form of oppression. Britain was uh, defined by colonialism. Britain is an enemy of the climate because Britain pioneered the Industrial Revolution. And most of these people whose basic amenities, their, you know, their indoor plumbing and so on are based on the Industrial Revolution. They go, what? Um, and, and, and on top of that, you've got, I mean, think about it, you've got a relatively um, uh, a placid society that is being roiled by all this Sadiq Khan Islamic radicalism. By the way, Sadiq Khan could barely hold on to his own seat in London, showing that even in London, London is basically like New York. People speak a hundred different languages. Even in what would seem to be the safest place, labor is now threatened, is now threatened. Now, all of this means, quite simply, that um, uh, the Democrats in America need to, well, I'm not advising that they do, but if they looked across the pond, they would see reasons to really worry about what's happening uh, in Britain and in the United States. Uh, some of the labor uh, intellectuals in Britain are saying, oh, no, you know what, we, we took a beating, but you know what, we can learn from Biden. We might be able to figure out a way to assemble a Biden-style coalition in Britain. 
But no, Biden is kind of the last of the Democrats who has some residual appeal to working class America. But do you think Kamala Harris does? You think Ilhan Omar does? Uh, no. Pelosi? Are you kidding me? The bottom line of it is that the, the Labour Party in Britain has nothing to learn from Biden. The Biden people, if they were to look at the British example, would realize that something very big has occurred in Britain. Something very big may be brewing in America. And from my point of view, all I can say is, let's hope so.